Are you a new believer in Jesus Christ? Today, I'm going to share some tips with you on how to get started and how to keep going and maturing in your faith. Listen, as a new believer in Jesus Christ, one of the main things you're going to want to do, one of the first things you should do is find other believers, but not just new believers. I'm talking about spiritually mature believers. And for that, you will most likely have to go to your local church. Now listen, I know a lot of people are uncertain about church. They've either been hurt by church people or they've heard some nasty things about church people. I just want to encourage you that we're all broken people. And as churchgoers, we're not perfect, okay? We are Jesus followers. We love the Lord and we go there to fellowship with other like-minded people. So that is where you are going to find like-minded people. So one, the first thing I want you to do is to get into a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church so that you can have your faith just watered and showered with the Word of God and with the love of Jesus Christ through other people. Number two, I want you to open the Word of God. I want you to be reading your Bible every single day. And if you have to start in the Psalms in the, and in the Proverbs, that is fine. That's a great place to start. The Psalms is full of encouragement, full of prayers that you can pray for yourself. And the Proverbs is so full of wisdom. Like, as a new believer, you definitely need encouragement, which you'll get from the Psalms, and you definitely need wisdom, which you will get from Proverbs. And number three, I want to encourage you to pray. Now, I know that as a new believer, sometimes we make prayer this huge thing, but prayer is simply talking, communicating with the Heavenly Father through our words. So I want to encourage you today to pray about anything and everything that is on your heart. I want you to pray about your daily needs, about your daily concerns, about your daily wants, because as a new believer, the Lord is right there waiting for you to reach out to Him so that He can deliver and build your faith. I'm telling you, as a new believer in Jesus Christ, that is the perfect time for you to pray bold prayers because God wants you to solidify your relationship with him. He wants you to know him as your provider, as your protector, as your sovereign God. So pray bold prayers. Pray about everything. So number one, I want you to find a local church to fellowship with other believers. Number two, I want you to read the Word of God. Start in the Psalms, start in the Proverbs. Number three, I want you to pray. So as a new believer, I hope you found encouragement in that word. And listen, when I was a new believer, I was on fire for the Lord. And there was nothing that could keep me from doing things that involved fellowshipping with other believers that could keep me from the Word of God. Like if I went literally more than one day without being in the Word of God, I felt deprived. I felt hungry. I felt a little empty. And I knew that I needed to get back in the Word. And when I came to know the Lord, I didn't know anybody else who was sold out for Jesus Christ. I wasn't raised in a family that knew the Lord. I wasn't raised in a family that taught the Bible, that taught the truth, that expected me to live up to this godly standard. So I had to learn everything on my own. So as a new believer, I reached out to this local church. I literally went to church that Sunday and they accepted me. I had the biggest, warmest welcome. And they knew me from my childhood, from my past. And they never allowed that to stop them from embracing me, from welcoming me into the family of God. And that's what I want for you as a new believer. Listen, God wants you to fellowship with his children because you are all his children, and you are all a part of the body of Christ. And when we 
come together and we function as a complete body, miracles happen. God is able to do the miraculous through his children. So I hope that word encourages you today to fellowship with other believers, to open the word of God, and to pray. So if you're new here, my name is Michelle, and um, thank you for stopping by this channel. What you're going to find here is uh, biblical encouragement. And if you come here all the time, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to speak truth into your life. And with that, I will see you next time. All right, God bless.